What up, fam? You know who it is. Team Franco with another video. So, hi, right, guys. So, I know it's been a while since I posted. Uh, I was on vacation, so I'm happy to be back now. So, if you guys remember, we talked about logging in on a diet, on a diet six. We talked about how to take our lunches, our breaks, and sort our truck. So, now let's talk about how to scan our vehicle that we're going to be using if you have a set route or if you're a floater or whatever um hopefully this can help you guys out obviously all the new drivers um all the new rookies or new drivers or anybody who is thinking about joining ups hopefully this can be an educated video for you guys to be able to to see what we do on a, on a daily basis and like i said all my videos is to educate, not to uh, not to bash the company. It's just to educate and be able to become better drivers and be able to see if you guys if this UPS life is for you. So, just like the last one, guys, let's go to the three lines, like we did, and we're gonna go there go to the trips. So, obviously, I made up uh, just a random track number and all that. So let's go right here. So let's start with here. We're gonna, we're gonna start with a vehicle number. So you have two ways to enter your vehicle number. You can scan it. There's a, there's a barcode where uh, on each vehicle where your cup holder is. That's where you scan your you scan your barcode. Or the second method that they did that we do is we type it in manually. Uh, I recommend just scanning it, right? Okay. So this one is wa wa wash. Uh, that's a new feature that has has been put on, but obviously, if you if you work for uh, um, if you guys seen the car washes, just wash your vehicle. But if you want to get your vehicle wash, this is where you click it to wash your vehicle. So don't forget that. The parting building. So when you start your day, guys, obviously you leave in the morning. Uh, obviously, once you pass the sensor that the that the gate has, or the wheels touch the pavement or whatever you want to look at it, that's when your part your departing time it starts. Your miles, don't worry about the load. Uh, that doesn't really matter too much. The fuel doesn't really matter too much. The trailer matters a little bit if you're pulling the trailer. I'll show you how to do that. And then also returning to building. So this is a tricky one, guys. So when you're coming back to the building, the uh, the returning building, you gotta manually do it, okay? You gotta click it and it tells you what time you got in and all that, I just made one up, it doesn't matter. Um, but when but I've noticed that when you pass the gate, or whatever you're coming in, whatever whatever uh, gate you use to go back back into the hub, I've noticed that it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't let you know what you're back that, uh, and all that. So you got to do it manually. Once you're parked your vehicle where it goes, you manually put it back in. Obviously, you put back your miles and the unload. Don't worry about that. Uh, this part here, total miles will be the total miles that you use to go uh, in whatever miles you drove, right? Like I said, I just made up one and all that. So now let's go to trailers, guys. So, if you're pulling a trailer, any uh, uh, P, uh, any TP60, or uh, I think that, 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 that's what it's called, uh, TB60 or uh, a PT60, something like that, this is where you're going to add it, see? Add the trailer below. Where you go is that you scan the trailer, and you put the same thing. You put the number, and that's it. And then you save it, and, and it goes into your man. It goes into your into your board that you're pulling the trailer, and obviously they know that you're pulling the trailer as well if it's part of your route, or if not, they're making you go do something else. It's all that. So now let's just say if they send you back out for a trip number two, then you just go to this one. You plus one. And it says, "Are you sure you want to create a new trip?" And you'll be able to manifest and, and to create your current trip. So you say, yeah. So there you guys go. On um, this part on top will be trip two. Obviously, your first trip, or it's already implemented. That you already came to the building, you came back, and they're sending you back out, whatever. 
That's how you put trip two. Same thing, you scan the vehicle, the departing time, the sensor will do it for you. When you come back, then you return the building and you do the same process there, guys. Uh, that's all you do. Hopefully this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, like I said, reach out to me. Send me a message on uh, on YouTube. I, I'm, I mostly answer to all everybody who messages me. And like I said, it's an educated video to be able to help you guys out and any future UPS drivers that want to think about trying it out or, or be part of the brotherhood, you know. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help out my channel. And let's, let's all of us learn together and be able to help each other out with this Diet 6 that some people like. But me personally, I like it so far. So, all right, guys. See you in the next video, guys. Peace. I'm looking for you. I'm